Hey, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Rear Room Show. Again, putting my hand on a radio improves the reception. And, and, the, and one of the big problems, let me turn this down. One of the big problems with these small radios is, is they have a very small, short, telescopic antenna. So they're begging for a longer antenna. And I think um, putting your hand on there changes the capacitance. So the antenna to the radio appears to be longer and therefore the reception is better. That's my theory. Also, your hand could be acting as a ground potential, again, improving reception. But anyway, what I wanted to do, I was tuning the bands to see what kind of reception I could get off this radio. And right now it is 6.30 a.m. here in Florida, in Eastern screwed up daylight time um, and I'm getting Radio Australia in pretty good with just using the built-in telescopic antenna and <clears throat> in my workshop where I've got the computer on, the monitor on, lights on, test equipment on, lots of interference and it's coming through pretty good. It was even better a few minutes ago. And I quickly checked um, another radio with an external antenna, and it was it was a, a little better, but it wasn't that much better. Now what I can do, let me turn the volume back up. Of course, this is music, so I might get in trouble. And I'm going to attach an external antenna. Doesn't help that much. Now that is my, um, sorry lady, I'm going to turn you down. That's my um, long wire, 40 foot, nothing special, external antenna. And um, it comes in via, via shielded cable, plus I'm using this little jumper cable to hook it to the antenna. Didn't seem to improve it that much. Um, but uh, let me just try something else. We try, I've got, I, I stored, I started storing a couple of frequencies in memory. Oh, I'm on, a, I'm pushing the wrong button. I'm pushing memory page four. Why memory page one? Okay, there's five megahertz. Let's see what's doing on five megahertz. Yeah, it's there. Can't hear the takes now, but you heard them a few seconds ago, probably. I was waiting for it to come up on a minute. It's in and out. Getting some interference from all this equipment around me. So, like I say, band conditions are terrible right now for me, but this radio is receiving stations pretty good based on the conditions right now. Let me try 10 megahertz. It's a little early for 10 megahertz. Go back to that. Whoops, I went past it again. Good grief. There it is. There's 10 megahertz. In a real, real weak. Let's go back to Radio Australia. Gone down a little bit, but here we go. Um, but I want to jump in here because it was receiving Radio Australia pretty good and even better than what you're hearing right now. Conditions are changing, um, getting later in the morning. So as far as sensitivity and even selectivity, it's doing a darn good job.
So I'm impressed with this little radio. Um, again, the tuning is a little funky with these buttons. It, I did notice when I was doing a lot of tuning, muting while tuning. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Yes, it has muting while tuning. So if you're like me and you like to constantly search the bands, not the radio for you. Muting while tuning. So that's a negative word. So as far as the, let me go back to the report card. Again, this is not a thorough reception test, but it's a quickie reception test. And I'll give you a quick grade and maybe I'll change it later when I do more testing on reception. But um, tuning, I had already given it a C. I'll leave it there because of the muting with tuning. I tempted to knock it down to a D, but I won't. You know, that's, that's a, maybe a quirk that I have that I don't like muting with tuning. But a lot of these, um, I'll call them digital radios, you got that function, muting or tuning. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grade it. And I'm going to give it, let me move this out of the way a little better. I'm going to give it, I would almost give it an A for reception, except that I haven't done a thorough job of testing the reception. But based on the limited amount of testing, I just did, and I, and I did before I started this recording. I'm going to have to give it an A. I, I, I really, I'm going to give it an A. I, I was impressed that it was doing that well with its own internal antenna and in this RF playground of my workshop with all kinds of interference that other radios can handle. They get overwhelmed. I'm going to give it an A. Yeah, maybe I'm too generous, but I'm going to give it an A. So, kind of just look over this quickly. We have two A's that are kind of offset to C's, a couple of B's. I'm going to give it a B. Yeah, grade for this radio is a B. It has some quirks. Uh, muting while tuning is a big one for me. Uh, not having a tuning dial is a minor problem for me. Um, I think that's, that's about it. There's only a couple of things I don't like about it. So I'm going to give it a B. Now, like I say, um, if I go back here to Passport to World Band Radio, and I look at their score they gave it, this is just another source information, and there's, this radio is very popular. So there's lots of reviews and comments about this radio on the internet that you can go search on. Search on the, um, the model number, the IC-SW35 Sony. And let me see if I can find that. I always have trouble finding things. I had it marked and then I took the marker out. That was pretty dumb of me. This is a great, I've got three or more of these books coming, uh, three different years. Okay, they only gave it two and three quarter stars out of five. Let me move the radio out of the way here so I can kind of show you the book here. Here it is right here. This is the um, Passport to World Band Radio Edition 2003. And uh, they only gave it two and three quarter stars, but yet they say it has superior rejection of superior image signals. Hey, maybe that's why it's not getting too much trouble, having too much trouble with all the noise that's in RF noises in this room. Overall, a decent low quality choice only if you listen to a predictable roster of station, whatever that means. I guess it's saying and kind of what I've concluded, it's not a good radio for searching for new stations or weak stations, mainly because it mutes when it tunes, which I hate it. So anyway, I, I think I'm going to call this a wrap on this radio. 
even though I have not spent a lot of time with it, um, my initial impressions are that it deserves a B. What do you think? Is a B too much? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.